ordering a new harness, we do ask that you measure the pony or the horse that the harness is going to go on. Um, that helps us get the best fit that we can and helps us maintain our 100% fit guarantee. Uh, sometimes people have an existing harness that has parts on it that are fitting pretty well. In that case, they can measure those harness parts so that we can match that size. There's always questions about how do I do that? Do I include the ring on the breeching? Um, where do I measure on the brow band? I don't know what to measure. Um, how do I measure the pull piece on the bridle? You know, these different questions that I get. Do, how do I measure a buckle, the width of a buckle? How do I measure the width of a strap? So I thought today I will just go through how to measure an existing harness. And um, do keep in mind that you can do both. You can measure your pony or your horse and measure certain parts on your harness that seem to be working. Um, we, it's better to have more measurements than not enough. So with that in mind, let's go measure some harness parts. This measuring tape starts here at this line. It does not start at the end. Make sure you're lining up with that line. We'll start by measuring a brow band. We measure these end to end. So line your tape up, measuring from one end of the brow band to the other end. This one measures 14 and a half. Now we'll measure a bit. You measure on the inside of the cheek pieces. Line your measuring tape up on the inside, lay it straight across the bit to the other side. This bit is three and three quarter inches. We measure the pole piece of the bridle from end to end. Line your measuring tape up with the end on one side, lay it across to the end on the other side. To measure a girth, you'll lay it flat on the table. Make sure it's nice and flat. Line your tape up with one end, including the buckle. Then run the tape straight down to the other end and include the buckle on that end. To measure the over girth on the girth, it's the same exact thing from one end to the other, including the buckle. Now we'll measure the bridging. There are two ways we can measure that. One way is to measure just the strap, not the ring. So you'll line your tape up with the end of the britchin, run it straight down to the other end. This britchin without the rings measures 35 inches. You can include the ring in your measurements if you do it that way, just be sure that you write that you've included the ring in your measurement when you make notes on your invoice. With the ring, this britching measures 37 and a half inches. To measure the hip straps, lay them flat and then measure them from end to end. To measure the turn back strap, 
you'll measure it as it would be adjusted on your horse or pony so and then again it's end to end and then in your notes you'll tell us that you measured it as it would be adjusted on your animal When measuring your current traces, it's the same again, end to end. Note that I have removed each piece that I need to measure from my harness and then measured it flat. Don't try to measure it while it's still together. When measuring a buckle, remove pieces from the buckle. These are shaft loops. Remove any straps from the buckle so it's just the plain buckle. And then you're gonna measure the inside of the buckle from one side to the other. The inside. This buckle is three quarter inches. This is how you measure a strap. So again, it's just from one side to the other. This strap is a three quarter inch strap. When measuring your martingale, you can have it adjusted as it fits on your pony or horse. Lay it flat and measure it from one end to the other. If you have a snap on your martingale, you can also measure it from end to end, including the snap. Just make sure you add that in the notes when you check out so we know that you have a snap. When measuring the length of a saddle, you're gonna start on the girth strap, the middle hole, line your tape up with that hole, then keeping the tape nice and flat, run it across the top of the saddle to the middle hole on the strap on the other side. The breast or the brow bands correct and to, so we can make sure we fit that. Oh, maybe I should write these things down before I try to video.